Hi, my name is Ho Yun Jeon. I'm studying and working at Dongguk University and the Korea Institute of Science and Technology in South Korea. My poster is on the dynamic behavior of micro bubble according to the flow velocity in an artificial capillary ball or diagnostic application. As you see in the schematic on the raft, micro bubbles are commonly used in medical images due to their proven safety and biocompatible. In recent years, many researchers have been trying to utilize them for their future purpose to avoid on it on inspected tissue damage from the higher pressure required for therapeutic application. On a creative understand of the interaction between micro bubble and ultrasound is essential. However, if you look at the image on the right, it is hard to sonicate moving micro bubble in blood vessel with narrow focus acoustic field. Therefore, we had observed ultrasound mediate micro bubble with dynamic behavior sort of broad acoustic field. In previous work, we designed a controllable acoustic field acoustic range that could generate a broad acoustic field. As shown in figure one, we confirmed that the uniform pressure at a distance of the of 40 mm from the Transducer. In this work, we used our sonication system to indirectly observe microbubble via flow velocity on artificial capillary chip. As we are unable to directly observe microbubble destruction, we assume that a drop in flow velocity that asymptotically approaches zero indicated indicate microbubble destruction. We are first need to qual qualitatively dis uh, describe the velocity distribution, uh, distribution in the capillary chip that we simulate be a fine element method or FEM. We divide, velo uh, we divide flow velocity from FEM simulation as shown in figure 3a into three groups based on the magnitude of flow velocity. We could observe these three, uh, three distinct groups when, uh, when tracking microbubble in our experimental setup. Under this flow condition, we, we sonicate microchannel and randomly select moving microbubble from each group to observe how they were affected by ultrasound. We are able to observe that the effect of ultrasonic sonication of microbubble are dependent on microbubble velocity. There is confirmed in the graph and image in figure 4. Group A, which had a lowest velocity, which immediately affect, uh, immediately affect as soon as it, elite, uh, it was irradiated by ultrasound. In case of group B, in case of group B, the microbubble graduated slow down over time. However, the group C, which had a relatively high velocity, did not did not appear to interact with ultrasound in many ways. It's like that. As you see in the group A and B, it is easier to easier for microbubble destruction to occur at lower flow velocity because microbubbles are easier to destroy in area of low flow velocity such as capillary while resisting destruction in high flow velocity area such as such as the Roger artery and vein. It may be possible to contain this effect of therapeutic micro 
bubble within certain area. This has potential for applications such as chemotherapy, where treatment must be confined to a certain area in order to avoid side effects. Our current and future research include modification of the flow in the fluid system to device on effect verification system for low pressure drug delivery by creating an environment more similar to in vitro condition. Thank you for listening.